changes. Hello you beautiful people from around the world. I'm Orange Squash and I've been given a job. And that job is to judge whether Fallout 4 is a great success or a piece of fucking shit. So, without further ado, let's do this. So Fallout 4 came out on November 10th, 2015, and the gaming world had a fucking orgasm, including me. The game gained massive popularity in a short matter of time and was met with overwhelming reviews gaining around 4 to 5 stars from many different sources. I mean, it got a 9.5 from fucking IGN. Holy shit! So, now to the important stuff. You start off Fallout as this dude, and you can customise your character and your character's wife slash husband, which generates a baby from the couple you make, even though the baby is of a different race. Um, Nora, uh, Nora, you got some explaining to do! Anyway, after many hours of creating your dashing protagonist and your new waifu slash husbando, or whatever you call it, you get to explore your post-apocalyptic house for like 10 minutes, which is great? Yay! I think so. I don't fucking know. Oh, by the way, did I mention that you move slower than a fucking slow poke? You wander about your home and wait for certain scripted events to happen. Just watch the window for some dude to come walking up to your door and ring the doorbell. And when that happens, you get to choose your character's name and what special points your character will have at the start of the game. Fun tip! Codsworth, the flying triad English-speaking robot, can say a variety of names. So go nuts. Take a guess what he can say. Fucking dare you. Which is fun, right? Right guys? <laughs> this is fun, <laughs> right? So after going to your child's knees, aka just wiggling your finger about its stomach, you're- oh fuck's sake, I'm gonna call them partner, just gonna call them partner, it's a lot easier. So your partner enters the room and talks to you. Listen guys, just press the buttons, don't worry about the consequences, it'll be clear soon, I just hit the desk. Fuck. Soon after, Codsworth will call you and your partner to the living room to show you that, oh fuck, there's a fucking bomb coming. And then, boom, you're free from your prison home. Yeah. When you exit, you will be instructed to go to Vault 111, which is where shit gets real, so... <clears throat> avoiding spoiler territory here, you emerge from Vault 111 to see your hometown of Sanctuary Hills has gone to utter shit. Just... 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 just so gameplay-wise, the game handles pretty fucking well. I really like how the game controls and how uh, <coughs> almost everything is interactive, aka can be taken or activated. The combat in this game is very reminiscent of uh, Fallout 4 and or New Vegas. The only difference is, is that VAT's Vault's assisted targeting system, for those who don't know, doesn't stop time now. It just slows down time, which isn't too bad, I guess? I, I don't fucking know. But hey, with the right mods, you can turn yourself into a McCree clone, so go fucking nuts! It's high noon. Disrespect your surroundings! The conversation system in this game, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, as past Fallout games you had the entire sentence your character was gonna say, but now we're kind of reduced to this on screen right now. Just short, brief mess meanings of what your character might say, so yay. Fun. Cool, but anyway, at the same time, uh, I, d I don't hate it either, so it's a win-win situation, really. This game has a romance system, and you can fuck almost every companion. Emphasis on the almost part of the sentence, because aka, you can't fuck dog meat, you sick <laughs> You have a wide variety of companions, which consist of two human women, two human dudes, your robot butler Codsworth, a walking, talking, fucking corpse. The green giant, my baby Curie, love her. A decaying synth, a synth that thinks he's a human, a synth that doesn't have a name, a rebel synth. <laughs> my god, you'd think the amount of romanceable synths you could say that Bethesda has some sort of fetish for a robot or something like. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this game has a crafting system. Oh yeah, you know this game is the shit right here. You can customize your weapons and armor, and oh, FYI, you can also rename armor and weapons. So that's fucking cool. I mean, just look at this! You can also make chems, aka drugs, which is fucking awesome. Yeah! Another crafting system within Fallout is that you can also cook food to make healing items to heal you in battle and uh, do other stuff. Like, there's multiple recipes and 
many different other advantages like you can make vegetable starch as some sort of different adhesive for when it comes to settlement building which is our next topic funny enough Okay, so there's also settlement building within the game, which allows players to make their own cozy home or to make their own brothel or hotel, restaurant, town, city, I don't fucking know, do we want. It's your game, have fun, go fucking nuts! But in all seriousness, overall, I like Fallout 4, even though some fans of the series say it's the worst game in the series. And yes, I agree with some of you, but I don't know what it is about Fallout that keeps dragging me in. Maybe it's the fact that I'm a huge nerd for RPG games. That and the, my addiction to open world games. <laughs> I need help. I think I'd give Fallout 4 an 8.5 out of 10. Due to it being a great game, but it also becomes a really boring game after you've done everything. Like me, for example. And sure, there are DLC, but I'll cover them in the future episode. And yes, there are mods out there, but if you're a console peasant, like me, with a PS4 and nothing else, like me, then you know what the mod restrictions and what we have. Oh, I want to end my life. <laughs> Why, Sony, you uptight bastards? Why? So, I finalized my decision by saying, this game is a great success. Oh, Todd Howard, you magnificent bastard. Oh, how I love you. Hashtag Squash X Todd. Even though it, your E3 this year was utter shit. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed my video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye